Hello everyone, it's me again. My name is Sophie, I'm nine years old. Today I'm going to talk about present simple. Yeah, you know, I'm already good at grandma, so today I'm practicing about it. It's really regularly, because I do it a lot of time, do it a lot of time, and a lot of time. I still forget, so I think this side needs to prove that I need to have this grandma in my head. So, I'm gonna do this right away, just today, okay? So, we are gonna talk about present simple. There, uh, there are affirmative, negative, and interrogative. And this is two parts. There is a verb to be and a verb normal. Yeah, so we are gonna do this. You ready? Let's go. So, we're going to talk about the verb to be first. So, let's go to the affirmative form. The, aff the affirmative forms is subject plus M is R. So, that's the form. And example, I'm going to do a sentences. That is, I am happy. He is thirsty. We are funny. So we have those three examples. That is M is R. So let's move on. Now we are going to move down to, to the mm, yeah to the negative. We are going down to the negative. Let's see the verb to be. If we finish three of them in the verb to be, we are going to move to verb normal. Okay. So the negative. We are going to move to the negative. That is subject plus M is R plus not. So I'm going to do an example, okay? So first is, I am not happy today. Yeah, we can do that. And also we can use the verb like, he is, he is not is not funny. Oh, we can say that we are not we are not impolite. So you can know what this means. So we finished the negative. Now let's go down to the interrogative. Okay, interrogative. This is the verb to be. You know that we finish three of the first. This is the last one. So let's do this. So this is E M is R plus subject. So it's a form, and we are gonna do a sentence. A sentence. Yeah, a sentence. Yeah, we heard. Um, example. Mm, so thinking first. Yeah, that's right. Is is he is he happy or not happy? Yeah, you can do that. And also, are uh, are they are they hungry or are they thirsty? See, it's very really easy. So we already finished the verb to be. Let's go to verb normal. So in verb normal, the uh, affirmative form, the um, the form is. Form is yes. The form is subject plus verb s or es. You ready to do this? Let's do this. So yeah, we're still doing that. This is low power of the iPod. Okay, so we've done the part. So let's this part can be easy with us. So examples, the sentences part. Mm, he washes the dishes. I walk with the dog in the park or in my garden. You can yeah, change it. So we finished the affirmative form. So let's move to the negative form. So the negative form is subject plus do or does. Yeah, that's it. See? And now we are going to do a sentences. Are you ready? Let's go. So, 
Let's do this. Now we are going example the sentences part. We are gonna do it. Mm. I hurt my eyes a bit. Okay, so it's better now. Just a, a bit like itchy, itchy. Okay, so yeah, that's what I mean. So let's do the sentences. Mm, we can start with he or she or it. I'll start with she. She does. She does not like cheese. Okay, it's that's really easy. Now we are going to the do. Do we can do it with not if we want to. Yeah, that's absolutely we can do that. The negative yes plus not either. Okay, and now we are gonna do it with. You can also write it don't or doesn't. Or you can do it do not or do not or does or does not. It's just like the same but you need to throw away the you need to throw away the the O and put it with the apostrophe. Yeah. So it's this doesn't. See it's very easy. We can change that. So what are we up the part? Yeah, we are that. So now I'm gonna do the do parts. We we do like lemonade because they are so cool and yummy. Yeah, we can put it. So we did it. Now we only have the final part of the yeah the verb normal that is. Wait, is it? Yes, that's right. This do or does plus subject plus verb. So you ready to do this? Let's do this. Okay, so let's do this. It's easy. So let's write like, does he like, yeah, does he like potato chips or do we do we need to go to space to find a meteor or something? This is gonna be a sentence. It's just like perfect with me. And yeah, so we are finished with that part now. So now let's go down and see how we use this present simple. How we use it. So. It is used for telling about, telling about, it starts again and again, like, it's already starts again, like, you do this once and, like, you want to do it again and again, just such like fun. Also, these can tell us about the truth, the truth about things, like, this is true, like, um, the, um, like Earth is orbiting the Sun. That is true. Yeah, they pretty simple can tell that how how we use it, and it also tells us about a plan, a plan that we think first, then arrive to the future. Yeah, tomorrow is the future. We don't know what we are gonna do. Uh, we are going what we are gonna do tomorrow. Maybe it's gonna be different from today Yeah, that's right But this training will never stop because I want to be improve improving so Let's do this so there now I'm gonna move to some words these words you can absolutely know when it is present simple like the words always Always, sometimes, often, usually, hardly, never. So it is worse than this. Yeah, that's right. Always, usually, often, then sometimes, hardly, and never. That's six the words. And like, if we use the words always, that means that this is like always happens. Like, we brush our teeth every day. We always do that. Now we use our words. And usually, like, 
Sometimes you do that. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes uh, you ride the bus or you go by motorcycle or cars. And hardly, that means usually that's a long time to happen again. That's hardly. Never, that means you never go on that. Like you go to school, you just walk. You never go on the motorcycle. You never go on the bus. You never go anywhere. You just walk. See? Somebody's like that. So that's what I mean. So we are going to go. We finish it. And now we are going to see. When will we know? When will we know that it is a sentence? That will be the words like. The words like. Every month. Every week. This is the words to know when it is. Bread and simple. It's every day. Every week, every year, every month. Yeah, that. And like in the evening, in the afternoon, in the morning. Just what? Oh, we read we read a book and when we see that we know it's it's present simple. So it's really easy to know it. So yeah. Goodbye, I'll see you later for the next day.